This tutorial will show how to set up a session and get interactive command line access to a remote Windows box. It is assumed that the file and print sharing is turned on and that you know the local administrator password. How to obtain the local administrator password may be covered in future lessons as well as how to get interactive GUI access. First we need to set up a session by using the net command. Set up a command prompt and then enter the following command. Net space use space slash slash computer name slash IPC dollar sign short for interprocess communication space slash u colon administrator then hit enter now we enter our password and a session as a local admin on the box is now set up The next step is to turn off NTLM authentication to the Telnet server. This step may not always be necessary depending upon where you are telnetting from. You can turn off NTLM authentication by opening RegEdit, then opening the remote registry of the box you want to control. Once there, go to Local Machine, Software, Microsoft, Telnet Server, and then change NTLM and set it to zero. Once this is done, start up MMS, Microsoft Management Console, and set up the computer management snap-in so that you can control the remote box. From the computer management snap-in, you can do all sorts of things, including looking at the event logs, adding users to groups, and other administrative tasks. What we will do next is go to Services section and start or restart the Telnet server daemon, depending on its current state. Now all that is left to do is log in and run the commands we want. A later tutorial will show how to get GUI access by installing VNC remotely. Setting up VNC remotely. This tutorial assumes that you have already followed the steps outlined in my tutorial that shows how to start a session and get interactive command line access to a remote Windows box. And now I want to install VNC so that you can get a remote GUI. You can download my remote setup package of type VNC from my website. The default password it sets up is Iron Geek. If you wish, you can change the default password by installing type VNC on one of your own boxes and modifying the VNC reg file appropriately. Copy the hex contents 
of your password key in its following two spots in the bnc.reg file that I have provided. My reg file has also been set up in such a way that it should hide the WinVNC icon from the user system tray. First, establish a session with the target box as shown in the previous tutorial. Now make sure that the Telnet service is running on your target box. Now you can copy the type VNC install files to your target machine. Next, turn it in and run instvnc.bat. You should now be able to VNC into the box. Enjoy. At this point, it'd probably be a good idea to delete your install files from the remote machine 